Hey, what's up guys? Anil here from Motion Max. Welcome to my exciting tutorial of the After Effects plugin, Fractal Noise. So, lots of people often ignore uh, some plugins uh, uh, because uh, they don't know how to deal with it, that uh, plugin and uh, I don't know, lots of people don't know what that plugin how capable of that plugin so practical noise is one of the plugin that you underestimate uh, uh, every time so lots of people use uh, that plugin for only for the clouds or uh, for the fog uh, like that i'm motion max um, if you're not familiar with me i am an video have other in uh, in video have for five years and uh, look up for my templates if you like them please purchase and uh, let me know what you think of my templates so in if you want to more tutorials like this in future just subscribe to my channel and um, please let me know in comment uh, so how much you are interested to so i can make more tutorials from for you guys so for the english i am very uh, uh, i'm not um, a very communicative guy in English so please bear with my bad English okay so first of all uh, I'm going to explain how fractal noise works uh, so right now I am gonna present with the example only right now only with the example but I will promise I will make sure to get more uh, tutorials using fractal noise in future so right now I'm going to uh, show you a triangle uh, formation of the uh, formation using fractal noise or a triangle transition making uh, triangle elements over the uh, video so so make a composition and use it as a tutorial so name it as a tutorial okay so make a solid composition and transition so okay so why I put it on transition because uh, we are going to use it as a mat for the another image or another video so I'm going to show you how to do that, uh, that. so transition and add a fractal noise so so right now it was in soft linear mode and I'm going to use block mode and uh, I'm gonna turn the complexity to 2 so and also I'm going to scale by clicking on uniform scale to the 200 size so we can see what we are going to do right now so it, it can be done in 100 size or 50 size too but uh, it's depending upon the visibility that you are looking for so so uh, you may know that complexity means uh, the instances of this uh, uh, grid if you put it on one you may see black and white boxes of this uh, grid um, blocks grid that means uh, the noise uh, if you um, scale if you animate the animate the evolution it will uh, change it will change like this so you can animate it uh, like this so like that so sorry like that you can admit it like that but I'm going to put it back right now so if you make two instances uh, complexity to two that it will make it sub sub uh, overlay of this these uh, uh, grid uh, boxes grid uh, so if you make it three it will make uh, three instances that means one main and two other sub uh, uh, sub grid so so put it on two just because we only need two so I'm going to sub settings and I am gonna sub influence the hundred percent okay so it uh, it will stay like the main one so and also I am gonna scale it to hundred percent so if you see uh, if you match the uh, position of the first one and uh, the second instance uh, second complexity it will be the same because we put it on hundreds hundred size so I'm I need to rotate it to the sorry I need to rotate it in sub rotation up to the 45 degrees so what I'm going to do right now I made a calculation of so I need to match this X of this uh, 
uh, this corners to the this box. So I made a calculation using uh, uh, some uh, shapes. So I'm I'm going to create a shapes. So by clicking Alt on uh, constant rotation, it will make the um, perfect uh, box. So okay. So I made a duplicate and uh, um, and make a rotation by clicking on R. Sorry, 45. So I'm going to move it to the position of the starting of this box. So I'm going to scale it down up to 71%, uh, so it can match the height of this thing. So 71 is matching perfectly. I tried to put it on 70, but uh, it is not matching actually. I put it on 71. But uh, if you are feeling, you may put it on 70.9 also. So it's up to you. Uh, the point will not. Uh, so I put it on. Another, I duplicated the same rotation layer uh, and put it on right. So we are making to make it in uh, this inside this box in the single box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the sub scaling to the 71 percent and uh, uh, using sub offset. Uh, I am going to match one of the boxes uh, for them. I am taking this box. Uh, I have to match this one to the this and this to the this. So I am going to put it like that. If you match them correctly, it will match the all the everything. If you are uh, having like this, that uh, you are not matched perfectly. So please try to do it. But tutorial sake, I am not going to that deep uh, for that so we already achieved the loss of the things uh, using this so we have already come off into the this stage so if you play with the brightness and put the contrast to the above right now uh, in this stage uh, you can use it as a um, element uh, over the video so I'm gonna show you how to do that but right now I'm going to achieve a transition so uh, I put the contrast up to the 500 500 okay and um, I I make a keyframe of a brightness up to until I did not see that uh, triangles in my composition so right now I can't be able to see any triangles so for the two seconds or one second two seconds I am going to make it two seconds and I am going to improve the brightness until I see full white okay right now I can't be able to see any dark patches so you you may already see this uh, transition right now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to import an image or video. So right now uh, I'm going to import the footage. So this was in full HD. So I'm going to use this one. So you need to put it uh, below that uh, transition layer and make it the luma mat. So as it was using the uh, like that. That's it. We made a transition using this uh, uh, thing. Uh, even if you are uh, going to use it as you can just uh, by offsetting this results, you may get more things by using transition this layer as a duplicate and I uh, put it on below the transition layer and uh, I am going to color correction tint I am going to tint it so what I am going to do is I am going to use a this one so it will transition like that so by offsetting you can get lots of results like this so
this awesome right so this is the best thing uh, that you can uh, transition it with the fractal noise uh, fractal noise is uh, like uh, a, a bomb uh, um, if, when that means it, when it explodes it will make lots of chunks uh, like that uh, you can if you explode it uh, clearly uh, you make lots of chunks using uh, like this this is one of the chunk but you can make lots of chunks using this fracture wise so like uh, uh, this, is a, this is a thing you can transition in triangles but uh, using this uh, technique uh, you can make a uh, another thing also uh, for example I am going to use it as a element so I am going to put in uh, turn of the uh, brightness of keyframes so I am going to mute, use it as a I am going to use it, it as a uh, element so if I put it on like here and uh, I make a tint over that layer and I put it on something like uh, we are like this and I can make it uh, add it will make a element and uh, if you don't want to overlay it or uh, uh, put it on add you may do one thing by making this as a new solid and put a red or blue layer so and make a transition of that uh, thing of using Yuma mat so it will add like that but it will not be in add mode or not any mode so you can clearly see that right now you can use by making lots of uh, evolutions like that you can make uh, anything like that lots of color uh, things color elements over the video this is uh, one more one method uh, guys uh, uh, by going deep you can do one more things using another plugins uh, so right now I'm going to do what uh, what I'm going to do so I'm going to delete this and I'm going to uh, put it back to the as element so uh, I will show you what to do that how can you do that uh, so by going to the uh, by by using uh, stylized find edges, uh, what it will do is it will uh, it will find the edges of uh, the layers. So the right now uh, we already finding the if you invert it, it will make this uh, type of uh, things. If you animate them, see you can get awesome results like that. So it's depending upon you guys uh, what you are going to do with if you make a screen transition, uh, if you make a evolution, I'm into 300. That means for one second you to make 300 rotations like that. It's up to you guys how you can use it. Uh, you need to know how deep uh, it can go, right? So um, if you go deeper and deeper, uh, it will give awesome results. So please explore with the settings, uh, everything, and I will make sure I will make more tutorial about the fractal noise because uh, fractal, with fractal noise you can do lots of things like uh, transitions, elements, light links, dust and environments. Uh, lots of things guys uh, um, it will give you lots of possibilities if you will so that's it guys I hope you like this tutorial and I hope um, you like uh, everything I did it in tutorial uh, please look up to for my portfolio in my uh, we have a portfolio so uh, if you guys need any of the projects please purchase from there uh, and uh, it will support the channel and may I will make uh, more tutorials in future uh, please subscribe to the, my channel and uh, please let me let me know uh, in comment section what you think of this tutorial and uh, if you like this uh, this tutorial and you want more tutorial like this please let me know in my uh, uh, in the video comments bye guys